Okay, so we are working in the shop today. It is a hot summer day. I'll turn the lights off here because we're going outside. We're not working on this car. We're going to go outside and check something out. What is it we could be working on today that would be a hot little number? Hmm, let's scan the parking lot. What do we got going on? Aha! Uh Aha! -huh. Uh -huh. Look at that. That's a little red Isetta. You've probably seen it in a video before. And it's finally almost done. I'm going to go take it for a road test. I want to brief you on what I've gone through, what what's going on with it, and, and maybe go for a little drive. So this car was restored in about 2000. One of those one of those deals where the customer said, oh yeah, it was all completely restored and uh, we put it away and now it doesn't run. Well, I gotta tell you, between the carburetor being completely, completely solidified with gelled fuel, the fuel tank being filled with gelled fuel, the brakes not working, uh, flat tires, the works, uh, it's almost needed to be re-restored. I shouldn't say that. It's I respect the guy that restored it. Um, he's no longer with us. Uh, he left a lot of things undone, unfinished, is what I found on other cars that I've kind of gone over. A lot of nuts and bolts that are loose and need to be tightened up. This is a special little car. You can see by the rear window there, uh, that whole thing folds down. It's an, a slider window cabriolet, which is semi-rare. I don't know how rare, but I know there's quite a few just basic sliding window, I said as compared to the convertible type. Many, many, many. This one also has the tropical air door, which has the vents in the front there, and the dual wipers, which I really don't care for. This one always hangs over the side. Ooh, that guy needs something. He's got a rod knocking. Uh, back to our little Isetta here. So we got it all fixed up. Uh, the rod does not knock on this. It only has one, of course. That would be a problem. Uh, the engine's been rebuilt, the transmission's been rebuilt, but I did fix the brakes. For some reason, people can't figure out that the pedals are all supposed to line up. When this car came in, the brake pedal was like here. So you have leverage of about that much. Uh, and I never understand why nobody complains about that. And I fixed that. We now have uh, leverage right from the get-go. It has a little bit of play in it, but being manual brakes, if you need to stomp on them, you need to stomp on them. You don't need to be stomping on down here and hoping that you don't hit the floor before the brakes can engage. I uh, went through and adjusted the brakes. Um, Got the engine running. It was clanking quite a bit from loose shrouds and seals. Uh, everything in the fuel system needed to be cleaned up. Uh, the Dynastart is still a little iffy. Every now and then it won't rotate. And if you don't know what a Dynastart is, it's like uh, a combination alternator and starting unit. It's a big round thing here that when you turn the key, you engage the magnets and electricity turns it one way. And then once it starts, running it starts generating electricity back through the same uh, post there i believe uh, that's the starting post so maybe the just the high power high amperage goes through there like a starter and the, the the charging may go through the wires i think that's probably more like it but yeah it's just a single side draft little bing carburetor special to this model the 300 cc four stroke air cooled engine has one one spark plug and exhaust system that comes out the other side so let's quit yapping about this little thing. Let's get inside, give you a little tour of the inside. Uh, it's still got some pieces. I got the air cleaner and some stuff off, but uh, we'll get in here. The steering wheel never really got restored. It's really gritty, but that's the way it is. Let's open a window because it's sliding windows. You can see, let's open this one. And then uh, we're sitting at the controls here. We have our high beam, low beam here. Turn signal is on the right, which is kind of different. We can pull the door closed and latch it. And let's see if it starts. Hopefully the Dynastart will give us some good turnover. Let's see if it'll like them. Oh. There. It went. Nice. This one has an auxiliary horn. I don't really like that, but people don't seem to be able to figure out how to get the horn contacts going. We have our choke. Uh, sorry about that. We got our choke over here. It's a warm day, so I don't think we need that. And then our heater, we definitely don't need that. And we have our shifter here. And our shift pattern is right. You can see it right there? Right there. 
So we're going to put it in first gear and go full drive. Let me make sure the gas is on. There's a gas valve behind the seat. Yeah, we're on. I'm going to put it to reserve. We don't run out in the middle of our, our run. And we're going to open the vents. Let's see here. There we go. Let some air in here. Adjust our mirror a little bit. There. Okay. So here we go. We're going down to first gear. Should be about right there. Yep. I'm going to check the valves on this thing. That sounds a little rattly. I do need to change the oil, check the valves, and check the transmission fluid. But we are driving it. It's the first time it's been driven in at least 20 years. It's a 2000. Brakes are tight. Here comes our rod knocking friend. <laughs> can almost hear that thing over my loud Isetta. So, yeah, we got a speedometer. It's working. Yeah, this thing needs a valve adjustment. It's very ticky. Second gear there. Put back on the gas. Let's get back down into first gear. I want to stall it. There we go. Second gear. Shifter is really stiff. Got to see if I can work on that. This is our first test drive, so a lot of little things to iron out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We just ran out of gas. Dang it. <laughs> I hate running out of gas on a test drive. At least we're not far, far away. I'm pretty sure we're out of fuel. All right, well, we're going to push it back and try it again. All right, we found a little gas. Put the choke on a little bit, and I think we have a little bit of a fuel blockage. It is not running good. There's the doggy. I think we sucked some more crud into the, yeah, we lost our idle circuit. So there we are. Well, we made it back to the shop. Um, not exactly how I wanted to. But that's what road tests are all about. Mental note, shifter sticky. Fuel system still needs some work. And I gotta change the oil and a few other little things. And this is gonna be a happy little camper. Mark my word. Somebody's gonna be really happy to get this back, nice and reliable, once I get done sorted out. <laughs> Don't you just love test drives where you run out of gas? <laughs>